Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and I have another video coming to you today. We are going to talk about unwanted attention and how to deal with it. Um, before we dive into that, I wanted to let you know that I literally just got done signing up for Goliathon 2020. So Goliathon number 13. If you're in the South Jersey or in the vicinity or want to be in the vicinity on June 6th of next year, 2020, and you want to do Goliathon with me and the awesomest Shape It Up team there ever is, you can go to goliathon.com and register. I'll tell you now, register early because the prices do increase as you get closer. Keep in mind this is a charity event, so all the profits go to the charity, and the charity is Charity Water. So each Goliathon, they donate money to different parts of um, third world countries, and they get water for them, which is really awesome. So if you're interested in going and signing up for it, um, go ahead over to Goliathon.com. Click on team and then you'll see, just scroll down to the alphabetical order and you'll see shape it up listed and join our team. We are not ninjas. Um, we are like a regular exercise enthusiasts that want to challenge ourselves and kind of step out of your comfort zone. So don't be afraid if you've never done an obstacle course or if you just don't know what it's about. They do have a try the obstacle day, which is uh, usually about a month before the actual event. So you can check that out as well. Um, if you do want to do Goliathon and you're not sure what to do, you can definitely, we can work together and I can design a program for you to get you in shape and ready to tackle Goliathon. And what better person than me to do it because it's going to be my 13th one. So I can definitely give you some tips and tricks on how to get ready for it and also how to navigate while you're on the course. All right. So this wasn't really supposed to be a Goliathon plug, but so be it. <laughs> there it is. Um, so I wanted to talk about um, unwanted attention and how to kind of deal with it. So this morning when I was working with one of my clients, we were talking about they were kind of, they're struggling, she's struggling to make that tipping point. So meaning she'll lose a couple pounds and then it'll come back up. So it's very like up, down, up, very, very, not a lot of progress going on. And a lot of times when I work with clients who I find that are not making as much progress as they should or, or as expected, um, I start ruling out things. So I start with health issues and stuff like that. And we make sure that's all taken care of. Really, when it comes down to it, it's really mindset that's stopping these types of people from getting to the goals that you want to get to. Um, so we were talking about how they felt, uh, like when they show up for parties or family events that their family is kind of saying, you know, like if, if they don't eat anything, the family is like, why are you not eating? Are you not okay? You know, that kind of thing. Um, and their thought was because they're overweight, you know, they think the family member is like, well, you're overweight. Why are you not eating more food? And they've also been at the point where they were thinner and the family members still were like, you're really thin. You need to eat. You need to eat. You need, you know, you're too thin. Are you sick? Are you anorexic? Are you bulimic? You know, and I am sure you can relate to this because most people have family members like that. I have family members like that. I still get comments. Most of the time they just kind of leave me alone now because it's been so many years. Um, and they mean well, they are trying to look out for you and they're inadvertently usually doing it in a, they're trying to be helpful, but it's not really helpful. <laughs> but um, one of the things you have to be aware of is it doesn't matter if you are overweight or if you're thin or you're somewhere in the middle, people are going to judge you no matter what. So if you feel like you're being judged when you're overweight, you're still going to feel like you're being judged when you lose the weight. So this is the problem. A lot of times we have to kind of peel back the onion a little bit and figure out what it is that's holding people back. And this is why I have that 50 minute free consult available right now. Um, it's a phone consult. I'm kind of diving in and trying to figure out within those 50 minutes, 
at least one thing that I can give you to kind of push you forward and get you past your sticking point. Um, but so people are going to judge you no matter what, no matter what size you are. It's just human nature. Um, I think some people can be more nasty about it and some people can be nice about it. You, I'm sure, judge yourself um, and you judge other people. Like I said, it's very normal. It's, it's, it's kind of like a um, natural selection type thing. The problem comes in is when you are being judged or you're judging others and it's not serving you. It's not, it's not giving you a, a positive push. It's more of a negative thing. We all know those people who sit there and talk about other people incessantly. And I'll be honest with you, what I have found over the years is that when people are nitpicking about other people or judging other people um, or like, you know, I don't understand why they haven't lose weight, that kind of thing. It's really more about them, the person doing the judging, than it is about you. So when you go into a situation where you're in a family situation or even if you're, you know, like a kid's birthday party and you feel like some people are judging you, it's really about them and not really about you. Um, so one of the things, um, how to get past it is I want you to take yourself to the place of where you really want to be, you know, like when all is said and done, where you want to weigh, what you want to look like, that kind of thing. And I want you to imagine all the scenarios that may come up. So for instance, um, some people, they think that their husband is going to feel insecure about the wife changing um, or your spouse changing and looking hotter, whatever. Um, and they feel like maybe their husband might feel insecure in that sense. That's one scenario. Um, some people feel like if they get too thin, they're going to get unwanted attention and they're going to want to cheat on their spouse. Um, and the thing with that is, is you can go through it. Everybody has their own little scenarios that are probably running in your head that you're not, it's like on the, below the surface, like you can't really grasp them, but they're there. Um, try to flesh those out and write them down and just see what your thoughts are about what you think is going to happen when you're thin as far as attention. Some people thrive on it. Some people just love attention, but most people don't really like that much attention on them. Um, but so it, once you figure out these scenarios that are in your head, then I want you to find solutions for it. So take, for instance, um, you know, if you think that when you're thinner, your husband is going to be jealous because you're getting attention from other men or what have you, um, what would you do? What is the solution that you would have at that moment? Maybe you could talk to your husband. Maybe you could talk to your husband now and figure out, is he comfortable with you being thinner? And hopefully he'll answer you honestly. But really when it well, I'll get to that in a second. But um, the other one is, is if you feel like you're going to cheat when you get more attention, you know, you have to figure out, well, am I committed in my marriage? Would I cheat now? Would I cheat later? You know, that kind of thing. So just go through all those scenarios. And I just gave you two examples. There could be many, 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 many different ones. So once you get those scenarios, then I want you to find the solutions for them. Really try to pretend that you're in that situation. And what would you do? Because a lot of times, once you clear that out, you realize that either that's ridiculous, you would never cheat on your husband, or that's ridiculous, your husband doesn't doesn't mind. Some people, some husbands love that their wife gets a lot of attention, you know. So you might find that the stories that you're telling yourself are just not true, um, and you don't know what could happen. That's another thought too, but. Uh, the other thing, too, is is how people talk to you, like when you go to a party, how would you respond to them? Um, so like I was saying with this client this morning, I had said to her, it, it doesn't matter what anybody says. It really boils down to how bad you want your goals. If you know you're healthy and you're doing it right, it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter whether they think you should eat more food or you are depriving yourself because you're not having cake. That is all their stuff, it has nothing to do with you. If you don't wanna have cake that day, don't have cake. It's not a big deal. Um, I think we make it a big deal. We make a drama because, you know, a birthday, heaven forbid, we should not have cake and celebrate. Um, so, Hopefully you will take those suggestions and, oh, sorry, that's my reminder to get my kids. Um, 
hopefully you will take those suggestions and see what you come up with. Um, if you're interested in getting your free phone consult for 50 minutes, again, I can help you get unstuck. Go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com. You can go to slash call, click that button, and it'll take you to the, um, the registration page or the sign up page. Uh, also above in this video, you'll see a link there. You can click that as well. So if you have any questions or if you want to join the Shape It Up team for Goliathon next year, definitely let me know. Um, love to hear what your thoughts are on this video. And that is all for me today. Have a wonderful day. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.